All right, ready guys? Here we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. All right, welcome back guys. How's it going? Floodmon 14 here. And uh, huh, that was weird, the audio was kind of crackling there for a while. But anyway, hey guys! Been a while since I seen you on this LP. Floodmon 14 here. And we're back with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, anyway, let's just try to... Let me try to find a duel real quick. Actually, what I should do... <laughs> To show you guys uh, all the results of my grinding first. Uh, so let's take a look at our dual disc here. Let's take a look. Yeah, I, I've just been grinding just just a wee bit, just a little. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sorry it's been like months in between episodes, but anyway, yeah, just just a little bit of grinding. Uh, I don't know what level we were at the last time I saw you guys, but right now we're at level 22. Uh, we got 16,909 Kaiba Court points. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but for now, I think what I want to do, let's just, uh, let's just get into a duel. I don't care if it's a shadow duel or, or just a regular duel, but, uh, Serenity. Now, if I duel Serenity, it doesn't end the glitch, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and duel Serenity real quick. Yeah. Because obviously it's been a while and there's some stuff I want to talk about. So uh, we'll pick this. Alright, and now let me see if I can. Uh, pretty sure I kind of remember how to do the size thing for you guys. Uh, you know, make the, make the dueling screen bigger. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's duel versus Serenity here. And hopefully, I, of course. <laughs> Of course, this is obviously the first episode of anything I've recorded in a while, so sorry if uh, it kind of goes slow or it takes me a while to get used to some things, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll eventually get in the hang. Ooh, we got, huh, well, that's funny. Check out the uh, the picture on the left we're using today. It's funny, I actually got this in my first hand today. Solemn Wishes, yeah, pretty good card, pretty good card. Uh, so let's... Set this. We'll set Gray Robert. Uh, and I think for the first turn, I'm gonna summon two Gemini Elf. Can't attack this turn, but it has a really good effect, so let's just end the turn. I think that should be in phase, right? Ah, I remember. Oh, that muscle memory kicking in, kicking in, guys. Already. Reign of Mercy, huh? Well, speaking of life points, I think I want to activate Solemn Wishes here. That should be Grave Rover. Yeah, 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 because she doesn't have any spells in the grave yet. That's good. Okay. So we'll both get a thousand. Yeah, uh, sorry, it has been a while, guys. But uh, anyway, today's date is uh, June 9th, uh, 2022. I think the last uh, time I recorded something, it was, uh, wait, what's the saying here? Hang on. What you doing? What you saying? Oh, select Earth. Okay. Because I, I was trying to hit no, and it wouldn't let me, so, okay. What else are you going to do, Serenity? That's it? Okay. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I think the last time I recorded something was, uh, uh I think it was, like, November of last year. Anyway, now that we have Solemn Wishes up, I'll activate Pot of Greed. What's it do? It lets me gain 500 life points due to Solemn Wishes. And then I draw two cards. Ah, Revival Jam, huh? Well, I think we'll go with Giant Germ, then out the deck. If we can. Uh, but yes, yeah, sorry it's been a while, guys. But, but sh you guys know how I do. Sometimes... Sometimes I... <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, anyway, point is, we're here now, and we're recording, and we're going to have some fun. Back to some tools. Uh, obviously, yeah, obviously it's been a while, so I think what I'll do uh, here for this first episode back, I've actually got a plan today, guys. So what I'm going to do is uh, 
yeah, just kind of wanted to do this first school, you know, just to have something going while I'm talking. Uh, but I, I, I actually, and I'll go ahead and show you guys here completely Christian. Actually, offline, as you can see here uh, on this document, basically this tells us how to do all of the uh, beginning puzzles. So I remember at one point I did the first, uh, did I attack the giant germ? I forget. Yes, I did. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, but um, I remember I did like three puzzles uh, in one of my last uh, recording sessions. For Nightmare Trip Door, and I don't remember exactly, you know what I mean, exactly, exactly uh, what I left off in. Hopefully, I didn't leave off in the middle of a duel and like safe state, because that, that would be really, really, really bad. Um, but what I'm gonna do, just in case, right, just in case I was in the middle of something, is today, uh, right, right after we go Serenity here, we're gonna do like the, the the next few duel puzzles, and I, I'm gonna try to do them first myself. And obviously, if I can't figure it out, I've already got the solution saved, so that's good. So we're gonna do that, you know, just to kind of be safe, and um, you know, make sure I didn't miss anything or skip anything. And then, uh, you know, after that, and of course, you guys can see we got way, we got plenty. Plenty of Kaiba Corp points. So after we do the dual puzzles, you know, just to, you know, and now mainly I'm doing the dual puzzles because, well, really, first of all, I should have done them uh, way earlier, way earlier, uh, just because they're so easy to do. But yeah, we're gonna finish off the beginning puzzles just to give me kind of, kind of a buffer. That way I can look at the old uh, videos. You know, make sure I'm on the exact right, you know, episode and uh, stuff, content and stuff. And then in the, the episode after we do the dual puzzles, uh, we're gonna just buy some packs. We're gonna buy lots of packs, lots of packs. Probably as many as I can buy and just kind of go over the cards and, you know, uh, let you guys know my thoughts. So that'll probably be a whole episode by itself, just buying packs. Um, and then, you know, that should give me enough of a buffer you know, with the puzzles, and I might even do the intermediate puzzles after that, just to give me, a, a, again, another bit of a buffer to where I can, you know, kind of go over my old episodes, make sure I didn't miss anything, and post those up, and then, and then we'll get back to the story, guys, the main story, so if you don't remember, basically, where we're at in the story, uh, I've kind of been doing, you know, infinite shadow duels off screen. Now, where we are in the story is, uh, you know, we won the uh, beginner cup tournament. We faced Joey, you know, and, and had a really tough duel against him. And we beat Yugi in the finals, and Yugi was much easier. Well, anyway, we, we tried to get the prize, but, um, yes, yeah, someone actually stole the prize. Like, how could they do that? Um, uh, so, at this point in the game, you're basically supposed to look for the thief of your prize, and that, that, that's where we are in the story. So basically, kind of in the beginning, in the very beginning. Uh, can I get exactly zero here? Let me maximize this to see if I can. Because uh, we basically won here. Uh, so if I destroy this... Uh, Take 500 from this. Well, let's do this. We'll take 141. No, I don't think I can get exactly zero, so we'll just fish her here. Good job. And yeah, we'll just take. Yeah. Sorry, Serenity, but to Gemini Elf, tick. I still don't think there's any way we can get zero, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. And uh, basically, once we continue the story, we'll be searching for the thief who stole our prize. That's basically where we're at on uh, Nightmare Troubadour. So. Anyway, I'm going to get a drink of water. Also, yeah, this is my first, like, kind of recording session back. 
And that's kind of another good reason to do these buffers. Uh, guys, uh, let me know. I knew you'd win, but, but don't you think it's more important to find your prize? Ah, Serenity's, Serenity's trying to drive the direction of the LP, guys. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, since this is, like I said, a new kind of, you know, thing, guys, let me know, number one, like, is the volume good? Is, uh, like, is it, you know, how's the view? Uh, can you see everything? Because... You know, yeah, obviously it's been a while, and I'm not too sure, you know, obviously I'll try to check things myself, but, you know, you guys let me know how things are on your end. Uh, anyway, what we want to do is go over to Puzzle, and like that piece inside my puzzle, Yugi. That piece inside my puzzle. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm glad it has this checked off. Yeah, the little circles little circles I guess that means it's done so um uh so it looks like we've done the first three so let's do beginner dual puzzle four winner takes all and uh yeah let's let's do it guys I'll try to do these oh I didn't think about that for the max view uh yeah I may want to leave it on like this just so I can <laughs> so I can see everything so yeah, sorry if the screen's not too big or anything, guys, but obviously I need to see what we're doing here in order to try to win. Win in this turn, all right. So, um, he's got one card. Wait, he's got one card in his deck. Wait, wait, I'm pretty sure, how does this work? Yeah, when this inflicts battle damage, your opponent must draw two cards. Can't we just deck this guy out? Wow, look at this graveyard. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Jinzo. Ooh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Wow. I wonder if we can get that in this game. That'd be cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything here in this graveyard to stop our attack. Delinquent Duo. That's a good card. That's a really good card. Um, 28... Yeah, I don't think there's enough... Okay, let me start by summoning Bistro Butcher. Uh, right, and there's our deck. We got two cards in the graveyard. Okay. Don's Luke is actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't think there's enough damage... Let me just try this, just for fun. I don't think there's enough damage on board to do this any other way. Uh, maybe if you played Swamp Battle Guard. See, I didn't think about that. If you played Swamp Battle Guard, you might have enough damage. Yeah, because he'd have 18. And then... I don't know, maybe. Maybe if you played Swamp. But maybe not. You might still be short. Let's see. 28. Uh, I don't know. You might be able to do enough just battle damage. Well, maybe not. Cause, let's see. Let's figure this out. Okay, so Karibo... So if I would have sacrificed Karibo, that would have been 1,500 extra damage. You know, uh, yeah, 18 minus 3 is 15, so there's that. That would put him at 1,550, and then they get the boost from each other at 500. 1,550, so another extra 1,000. 1,550. So he would have been left with 550, yeah. So I think this is the only way to win this one, uh, Bistro Butcher. Bistro, Bistro Butcher's effect should make him deck out here. Yeah, draw two cards. Draw your last pathetic card, old man, so I can end this. Alright, there we go. So that's actually a pretty easy one. All you gotta do is summon Bistro Butcher and just attack directly. Okay. There we go. And uh, you're not alone. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, we got Raijiki. That's a good card. Win in this turn. All right. Uh, well, I think he's only got 2,300 points. This one's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I think all you want to do is play Panther Warrior, just to make sure you can't you have enough damage. Because see, uh, Zambira, he's good, but yeah, he can't attack a player directly. So, uh, yep, we'll activate Raijiki. All right. And obviously, you want to do the attack order correctly. So, attack with Karibo first. There we go. And we'll attack with Panther Warrior. Now, I sacrifice my Karibo. 
go attack Grandpa's life point spread clean. <laughs> All right, we win. All righty. There we go. All right, let's try the next one. Too close to call. Dual puzzle number one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Puzzle six, too close to call. Let's do it, guys. Uh, I like these puzzles. It, it's fun to just kind of kind of work the brain, you know, see see if we can uh, figure something out. Okay, so we both got 2,000. Hmm. I don't think we'll be able to use Ring of Destruction. I think Ring of Destruction is bait here. Yeah. What's all in the graveyard? Okay, one Dark Magician. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we can use Ring of Destruction. Wait a minute. I just thought of it, guys. I just thought of something. So... Okay. Just in case I'm wrong, let's summon Zombira the Dark. Okay. This should work, though. This should... This should win. So attack with one of your Zombiras into Panther Warrior. Yeah, he'll take a hundred. Okay. So that don't put him down at 19. Alright. And then Zombira's own effect will make him have 19. Because he destroyed one monster in battle, he loses 200 attack. That means now we can play Ring of Destruction. I guess you can use Ring, yeah. On the one that has 1,900. And take out the rest of his life points. And that'll leave us with just enough. Just enough to win. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Very good, very good. Alright. Let's try the next one. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Penguin's Revenge. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Oh, we're right. What time are we at in this video? Uh, 17 minutes already? 17 minutes. Okay. Uh, well, I think this will be the last puzzle for today. Uh, I mean, for right now. And uh, we will continue in the next episode. And I want to record like four or five episodes, but like, uh, yeah, what if the audio is a right or something? Well, I'll tell you what, I think what I'll do, let me see here, yeah, what I'll do is I will, hmm, I'll do a couple safe states, yeah, for each one. What I'll do is I'll do like one and two here, yeah. Just in case, like, the recording doesn't work or something. That way I can go back. Yeah, just in case it doesn't work, I can I can always go back. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just do some save states here. I won't hard save. I'll just do, like, save state. That's a good idea, yeah. And that way I can check the recording uh, and stuff. Um, so what should we do here? Hmm. He's only got 2300. If I can get a direct attack with Dark Magician, we're in good shape. Um, hmm, let's just try this. Okay. Now, it said the Penguin's Revenge, so I'm guessing we return Wall of Illusion and Gemini Elf, I'm guessing. Uh, now let's try and play Dark Magician. You might have to use Penguin Soldier's effect to return stuff to your own hand in this duel. I don't know. I'm gonna try it just like this, but I don't know if we'll have enough damage. This one may be a little trickier than it first appears. Okay, so that'll be 600. Yeah, definitely something trickier here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to retry this one. That'll do. Hmm. Not enough damage. So I'm thinking... Hmm. The Penguin's Revenge. Let's see if we can figure this out before we end the episode here. 
Uh, let's see. Hmm. 2300. I could bounce Penguin Soldier itself and one other card. Uh, but then I can only bounce one of his monsters. Hmm. Let me think. So I could bounce both Gemini Elf, then tribute for this. Hmm, let me try this. Okay. Penguin Soldier, because it seems obvious that both Gemini Elf have to go, just because, I mean, otherwise there won't be enough damage. Okay, so both Gemini Elf go. Oh, I see. Okay, this might work. Okay, so we sacrifice Penguin Soldier. Yeah, hear me out. Use Wall of Illusion's own effect against them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, the brain's working, guys. The brain's working. So yeah, you still overdraw the Grotto. Wall of Illusion will put it back in my hand. Because I was thinking, like, Muka Muka doesn't have enough attack points. That, that's what I was thinking the whole time. So now Muka Muka's at 1,500. And then we can attack with our last monster, Mushroom Man. There we go. Now he's at 800. Yeah, see, that wasn't too hard. You just gotta... You just gotta... Keep the wheels turning. Okay, there we go, guys. Alright, you win. Alright, let's so we'll get another 50 EP. There we go. Alright, so, yeah. I'm gonna save stay right here, the first two. Yep, but thank you guys for joining me. And, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, sorry about the short one, but, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, yep, don't go anywhere, because in the next episode, we're going to continue the rest of the dual puzzles. Uh, and if we have time, well, we'll see. We're going to continue the rest of the dual puzzles next time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.